<laughs> hey guys, before we hop into today's awesome GTR video, I'm gonna let you guys know that we actually have a brand new Legends drop going live this Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It'll be uh, October 29th, 10 a.m. Before we get into today's video, I thought I'd run you guys through everything that you can expect coming on this Friday's drop. First and foremost, this is the Samurai Lucky Cat drop. It's freaking dope, guys. So we have one new hoodie and it does come in black. It is absolutely awesome, as you guys can see it here. We also have a really sick like graffiti style hit on the sleeve right here. And then on the front, we also have a Legends hit right in the center. This thing is really, really sick. Next up, we have three different shirts coming with this drop and they're all different and they're really, really cool. So I'm currently wearing the black one right now. As you guys can see, we have the Samurai Lucky Cat hit on the front as well as the back. It's pretty similar to the hoodie. We also have one of you guys' favorite, the Cherry Blossom Pink shirts. So there's the front hit with the Legends medallion and then also the Lucky Cat on the back. Really, really rad. And we also have a white one. And check out the back on this one. That's pretty freaking rad. We also, for the apparel, have a really cool windbreaker. We haven't done a windbreaker in a really long time, so this is like especially sick. Here's the back. We also have a sleeve hit right there, much like the hoodie. And on the front, we also have like the, leg the Legends uh, graffiti medallion as well. So that is all the apparel that's coming out this Friday. Also, we're gonna have tons of stickers. We have a new hat and some accessories that are also dropping that you guys are gonna love. So stay tuned for that. Uh, if you're not already, follow the Legends Instagram page. That way you guys can see everything that's dropping and what it's dropping. If you are a VIP, VIPs get early access starting this Thursday afternoon. So now's the perfect time to be a VIP to make sure you don't miss out on any of this stuff. So just wanted to give you guys a heads up for this Friday. It's gonna be awesome, but let's hop into today's video. My name is Dustin Williams and welcome to my channel. I moved out to Southern California to pursue my passion as a filmmaker and car enthusiast. On my channel, you'll get to follow along on my dream car life racing cars, building cars, and traveling to Japan to drive and build my R34 GTR. I love Japanese culture and cars, so that's mainly what you'll find here. I also built a street apparel brand called Legends based on my experiences, cars, and Japanese culture. It's been a crazy ride so far, and I can't wait to see where life takes me. So let's strap in and enjoy today's video. She's back. Quick update on the 35. It seems like 
when SOS was doing the work, they may have unplugged the battery and that put it into some sort of safe mode. So when I got to the shop, we reset the ECU, checked all the codes and stuff, and it's actually good to go now, thankfully. But today we have a really massive R33 GTR video and I am super excited because we have the holy grail of exhaust. Everybody's favorite. We finally found a Tome exhaust for the R33 GTR. Now, it's not specifically for an R33 because if you guys watched our last R33 exhaust video, the R34 and the R33 actually share the same exhaust route. You just need a extended test pipe to be able to run a 34 exhaust on a 33. Tomei actually had one R34 exhaust left in stock at the Tomei in Los Angeles, so I was lucky enough to actually be able to pick that up, and we're gonna be installing the Tomei on the GTR today making this thing, hopefully, I have high hopes here, a little bit louder, because the car sounds great as it is, but I need more out of it. It needs to be a little bit louder, and I think the Tomei is gonna help us do that today. It's gonna be awesome. Before we actually get started with the exhaust, we have one thing left to do before SEMA with this car as well, and that is we're gonna go ahead and put in this really, really awesome grid racing seat. Now, if you guys remember when we bought the 33, this actually came in the car, and I swapped it out with this more uh, bucket racing style grid Japan seat that I bought in Japan a couple of years ago. Well, this guy is going to be coming out because we actually need this for the R32 race car. It's gonna be coming out, and we're gonna match it up with the passenger side, which this car needs this style of seat anyways. It's more of a daily driver for me, and it's more of a enjoyment car rather than a race car like the R32. So this is actually just gonna be a lot better for me driving it every single day. And it's gonna look really nice for SEMA. We'll have two matching seats in the car and this car will be set and ready to go. So I just wanted to throw this guy in there before we get started um, so that we can save that other seat for the 32. So let's go ahead and do this and then unbox the new exhaust. So luckily the R33 and the R32 share share the uh, same seat bracket pattern, which is really good. So it's convenient, you can swap between seats if you wanted to. So much, wow, I actually sit lower in this. It's probably the bracket. That's weird. Yeah, but this is definitely way more comfortable for daily driving. I think we're good to go now. So the cool thing about this seat is also, it reclines, number one. But number two, for passengers, this bridge seat actually has a freaking armrest. How sick is that? Super nice. Yeah, and these are like really, really comfortable. I've never seen another set of bridge seats like these, so when it came with the car from Japan, I thought that was like just super cool. So we are good to go with the seat. Now, Tim, for the fun part. So I guess before we even get into that, should we do like a little exhaust, little, little exhaust tester here? So you guys can hear what the Fujitsubo sounds like versus what the Tomeizen sound like? Always do an exhaust test. Let's do that. my old R34 exhaust. It's the Fujitsubo titanium exhaust with a custom test pipe, no cat, and then we also have an unknown header. I think it's an equal length header, which makes it have that pretty cool sound. So, it sounds awesome, don't get me wrong, but on startup and idling and everything, I just, I don't know, I want it louder. I just feel like the Tomei is gonna have that like extra sound that I need. Anytime that I've ran a Tomei, you guys know, they just always sound the best. I'm really, really excited for this and to see the difference between this exhaust versus that one. I think this is just gonna give me a little extra oomph that I'm looking for. All right guys, before we get too far in today's video, uh, do me a favor if you haven't already, we are trying to get to 600,000 subscribers and over 50% of you guys watching this video right now are not subscribed. Do me a quick favor, scroll down just a little bit, hit that subscribe button if you are not already. It really helped me out, helps out the channel, and also leave a like, because this video is going to be awesome. So, like I said, today we're gonna be installing this beautiful Tomei exhaust. Now, I don't know if you guys have tried to get these recently, but these have been extremely, extremely hard to get. So, I am very thankful that I was actually able to find one, 
And not many people know that you can actually, you know, use R34 exhaust with your R33, just as long as you extend that test pipe. So let's go ahead and open her up. We put some gloves on because we do not want any fingerprints on this beautiful exhaust. So I guess we can go ahead and unwrap the whole thing, Tim. Yep. Let's actually just take it all out. And then I am so ready for this, guys. I think the last time I had it till May was on my WRX. This is gonna be amazing. Okay, here is the actual muffler tip. So there. Okay, what should we do first here? The tip, bro. The, no, we're saving the tip for last. Oh, jeez, so the anticipation. We have the nut button just in case any nuts happen. Oh. Oh. Whew, this titanium. I forgot how good this looks, dude. Look at the pie cuts. Oh my god. This is this is and it's a thick exhaust too. I think this might even be thicker than the current one that we have. Possibly. Look at this, dude. It's just a sexy pipe right there. That is insane. Okay, so we have part of the mid pipe here. I'm very curious to hear the sound of this versus the Fujitsubo. Because don't get me wrong, the Fujitsubo sounds great, but just a little bit quiet. And I have high expectations for this, so hoping that this adds just a little bit more sound. Dude, this titanium is unbelievable. It is beautiful. Look at that. Okay, you ready for the good stuff here? Actually, let's, let's make sure. Are you really oh, gonna tease probably, me like that? I'm really gonna tease you guys like that. So we have all of our oh, nice. silencers. Here's our hangers and our hardware here. Super cool. So we can set this to the side. Oh, it's so good, dude. It's so good. This is gonna look incredible coming out of the back of the GTR. Surgically removed the bubble tape here. Oh! Oh my god! This deserves a fat. It's so good. This is beautiful. Okay. No, but for real, this is awesome. This is what we wanted for, for the rear of the car. So here is our full titanium exhaust. This is gonna be absolutely awesome and I am super, super excited. So I guess let's go ahead and, and get started removing the food suit. Time to start installing. So as you guys saw in the last exhaust video that we did, uh, Tim actually welded up this custom test pipe right here and added this little guy, this little extension here. And then we have our Fujitsubo exhaust. So this one's titanium just like the Tomei. But as you guys can see, if you hold this Tomei up to the Fujitsubo, Tim, the Tomei is thicker diameter exhaust than the Fujitsubo. And it actually also looks- Actually, if you look at it, this piece right here that's smaller is actually the same size as this exhaust. So it gets actually this much bigger. Oh, wow. That's, uh, yeah, that's noticeably bigger. Also, the pie cuts and the pie welds and everything on this just, it looks so much nicer. I love how it says up. So you know where to put it. But yeah, that's cool. This is actually, this is gonna make a big difference. I'm really excited for this. So we're gonna go ahead. I mean, we've done probably 80 million exhaust installs on this channel. We're gonna unbolt everything, take this Fujitsubo one off and start on the Tomei. It looks so nice. I am so, Freaking ready for this. It's gonna be so good. All right, Fujitsubo exhaust is off and compared to the Tomei exhaust, Tomei quality is good.
my god, dude. The exhaust looks so good. And it sticks out a lot further than the Fujitsubo one did as well. And it has a super nasty angle to it. Oh my god. Yes! That is exactly what I was going for. This is gonna be so awesome. I am like a kid in a candy store right now. And I cannot wait for this first startup. So we're just gonna do the clamps, do the spring clamps, and we're good to go. Sparko is obviously not impressed by the Tomei. Sleepy boy. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Literally the worst part about installing these exhausts is this fucking spring clamp. Oh my God. Oh, dude, these are really loaded. Ah, oh my Success. God. Oh, did you get it? I'm good at this, dude. Man. Oh, that was tough. Yeah. Fuck. I'm cramping. My back is cramping. Ah, oh, fuck. So close. Oh, oh. Oh, that scared me. That was a scary that scared one. Me. <laughs> okay, last one. Can we go four for four, Tim? Yes. Motherfucker. Yes. Okay, let me go. Motherfucker. Oh. 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 Success. Tim? You're the Tomei Springmaster. <laughs> Let's wipe her down and start her up. No fingerprints burnt into this exhaust team. Okay, moment of truth guys. This is going to be the first start, first cold start with the brand new Tomei exhaust. is already so much louder at idle. Dude, that's what I wanted. All right, let's test for leaks. Always test for leaks. Let's give her a little baby rev here. Oh yeah. Yes. Three times louder than you Dude, already, just at idle. That's exactly what I wanted. I couldn't even hear the car inside when it was idling. So like having a car that I, or having an exhaust where I can actually hear the RB while I'm sitting inside the car, and that's loud on startup. Awesome, that's exactly what I wanted. So now, now the car's warm, let's rev her up and see what she sounds like. Take this guy. Wait, you revving her? Freaking 
loud, bro. It sounds like the Wonga Midnight game. It just sounds perfect. This is exactly how I wanted my GTR to sound. Like this is, this has made me so happy. I've been wanting to like be able to like hear the RV more. And since this is like the car that I drive the most, this is so satisfying for me. Ready turbos, and I believe it's just OEM intercooler piping, right? I don't know. I think we have OEM intercooler piping, and I think we have upgraded upgraded uh, intake. So when we get back, let's check that, and let's plan our next modifications for the GTR. But we're gonna give her a pull here. We need to go to that tunnel. We do need to go to the tunnel. Okay, deal. You ready, Tim, bro? Oh my 
god! Oh my god! This is oh ow. This is my favorite modification we've ever done in any car ever. Dude, just driving around normally it sounds fucking sick. Here we go. It just sounds so much more like can you feel how much healthier it feels yeah, it like it does feel very healthy like, I don't know why an exhaust would do that it felt so restricted with that Fujitsubo exhaust and now it's just like it's instant yeah, it's, it's so it's awesome. way more open have finished the R33 exhaust. This thing still needs to get detailed before it goes to SEMA, but you guys will see it there. It's gonna be awesome. The R33 is actually at the Meguiar's booth and the R35 is gonna be at the Yokohama slash Advan slash Ray's wheels booth. It's gonna be freaking sick, but I wanted to go over everything that SOS did to the GTR. Um, so finally, and stop telling me to get the gas cap finished because we have a brand new gas cap. They painted it Millennium Jade. Um, so. Finally, that's finished. I don't have to worry about that. It's not in the back of my head all the time. As well as, um, I don't know if I if I ever told you guys this, but when we went on that rally up to Laguna Seca and did that entire like 1,600 mile road trip, the GTR front bumper was like very, very, very floppy. And uh, they actually made a custom bracket to hold the front bumper up to the fender so it fits a little bit better and it's no longer floppy. It actually feels really nice. So we're gonna be doing an oil change because I actually have to drive this one to SEMA. So before we take it out to SEMA, which is our Vegas, which is about five hours away or so, we're gonna do a fresh oil change with some Valvoline OW40, uh, just to make sure the system's fresh and clean and she's good to go and I'm driving this home today. So I figured it'd be a nice time to do a little oil change, right? Oh. 
tune up, you know? Sweet, so, oh, we also did all the maintenance and the spark plugs when we actually fixed the car, so this is just gonna top it off perfectly and end our day on a good little note. So we're gonna lift her up and change the oil. All right, let's check out the bracket they did here. Dude. Whoa, yeah. look at that. It's like a whole support beam, dude. Nice. That's sick. That's perfect. That's that exactly is awesome. Because so, yeah. I, I don't know if y'all remember, but when we were at the track, we could like shake yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, it was really bad. So that is actually perfect. So this really is not gonna be a floppy boy on the way to Vegas anymore. That's awesome. Also, massive thank you to SOS. If you guys need something like this, SOS is definitely a place to go. I'm gonna go ahead and leave their, uh, their YouTube down in the description. I, look, I know they have a lot going on uh, for SEMA, so I'm sure they're gonna be uploading a lot of really awesome videos, so definitely check them out. But we're gonna go ahead and loosen the little, uh, the oil bolt, and let's train her. All right, buddy, you ready to go? He's going to jet out of this door. Come here. No, sir, we're not running away. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, sit, sit. Sparko, sit. Good boy, thank you. Say, hey, hey. Gosh dang it. There he goes, just free in the wind. Time to take Sparko on his first ever ride in the GTR. Okay, y'all comfy back there? New car, yep. All right, let's head home. Guys, we have we went to the gym, we made some dinner, we have bison, rice, and gravy, one of my favorite meals. Sparkle, you better not back off of here. A little nightly tradition here before while I eat dinner and before I go edit my videos, I, I love to watch all my shows. And I just started a brand new show called Invasion. If you guys can it's called Invasion, it's on Apple TV. It has I think it's brand new, honestly. Oh yeah, it definitely is. It says that it came out October 22nd, and they have brand new episodes every Friday. I just started it, and I'm on episode three. Easily top 10 shows. If you guys are like into like uh, alien sci-fi stuff, Invasion, excellent show. It's on Apple TV, I would definitely recommend it. But I'm gonna go ahead, watch episode three, smash my dinner, and then I actually have to upload this video so you guys can watch it tomorrow. So I have a busy night. It was a super long day, but we got everything done and I'm super, super stoked about the R33. Friday's video is gonna be amazing, so you guys are gonna to wanna to stay tuned for that on the Civic. The EG is back and it's gonna be dope. Also, don't forget, new drop this Friday, 10 a.m. Pacific Center time. It's the Samurai Lucky Cat. It is awesome. Uh, set your alarms, because it's gonna be a good one. 
But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you haven't already, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because it really does help me out. And I'll see all of you guys in the next one. Peace out.